everyone. I am down in South Wales because I have come glamping with Hidden Valley Yurts and it is incredible. It looks stunning. Mike, who is the owner of this establishment, of this glamping site, he took us on a full tour. <laughs> And now we're gonna get into some clothes that we don't mind getting wet because we're going gorge walking. I know, apparently we climb a waterfall. Ugh, my arms hurting. <laughs> That's so much exercise I've done. We're back from gorging now. I couldn't film anything because we were literally waist deep uh, in water so I think they've taken some for us but it was it was just incredible I didn't know what to expect we literally climbed crawled jumped it it was quite exhausting we literally climbed two waterfalls we, I looked at them and I was like never gonna do that but we did everybody in the group managed to do it by the end of it at, we were starting to sort of shake a little bit it was quite it was quite chilly by the end it was with inspire to adventure they made us feel completely safe throughout all of it i'd highly recommend anybody who's just up for something a bit different up for a challenge definitely do it so we've just had an absolute slap up meal with infamous catering that sound was <laughs> donna <laughs> closing uh the gates she's trying to get the fire to uh, work we're failing miserably at that and it's really we're cold in here we what's that we are failing. oh yeah we the royal we because i've not even <laughs> attempted <laughs> to do the fire we had an indian meal with infamous catering with barney and it was a completely vegan meal but honestly you you'd barely even recognize that it didn't have meat it just had so much flavor and um and texture to the food Oh my god, this is definitely glamping. I don't normally vlog like this, but I just needed to say how lovely that shower was because that shower was as good as the one I have at home. Although it was a little bit weird walking back in um in the dark with a little torch with a towel on my head, but it's an experience, isn't it? I'm proper set up in the yurt tonight. So I've sat myself right next to the fire, some cushions, got my blanket, got my Kindle. It looks like a nice day, blue skies. I hope it stays because we're going uh, canoeing this morning. Look who's come over. Hello, Tilly. Hello. This is Tilly the dog. She lives here. How cute is she? She seems to always have a stick in her mouth everywhere she goes. Don't you, Tilly? Gosh, I'm aching like mad today. Like my shoulders are in so much pain. Had a proper workout from that um, gorging. This is my breakfast. <laughs> this is Tilly. There you go. You're not having any till, sorry. But this is the view of my breakfast, which is lush. Hello, Tilly. Sorry, you're not allowed in the yurt. No, you're not allowed. Tilly, I'm sorry. It's the rule. And you made me burn my toast this morning because you distracted me. So, to go and brush my teeth or have a shower or a bath, you do have to leave the yurt, walk across the gravel. I've got Tilly leading the way, as per usual, with something in her mouth. Oh no, she's got someone's sock in her mouth. Tilly, that's someone's sock, you silly bugger. What's that in your mouth? Here is the shower, bath, toilet cubicle. Look. Just like you would have in your own house. Ta-da! It's pretty big as well. One thing I was worried about was the shower. But look at that beauty. It's not my sock, no. I think it might be Susan's or someone. <laughs> you little poser. So here are the chickens. They make our lovely eggs. So I am in yurt three, which isn't mine. Um, we're in yurt five at the 
just ended the camp over there. But this has turned into like the showroom because nobody stayed in here, so it's pristine. But it's very cozy, it's very comfortable. You've got sofa beds, a nice double bed. You've got a cabinet to put your things into, a mirror. So overall, I'd say it's pretty high quality. As you know, this is glamping, but um, if you wanted to do something a bit different, you can use the compost loos. I've showed you the nice, like, fancy ones that you would have in your own home, but these are, uh, I guess, more back to basics, which I'm, I'm not trying because I'm, I'm fulfilling the glamping experience and doing everything proper five star. There we go, not so nasty. I love it here. It's such a nice idea to just have everybody and just come together and just have a chat. Use the kitchen, which is fully stocked with everything you would ever need to cook food. They've even got a dishwasher. I don't even have a dishwasher. Also, board games. There's loads, loads of choice, and we've already played this bad boy. Hello, hello, Mrs. Hello. Oh, you're a little bit wet too. <laughs> so now, uh, update on Tilly. What's in Tilly's mouth? It's a rock. <laughs> no longer have a sock. <laughs> no longer have a sock or a stick. <laughs> She's my favourite thing about this campsite. Thank you. Yeah. And this is the way out across this little bridge. Which, oh gosh, you need to climb over and cross. And then you need to take these steps, which can be a little bit steep. I reckon it takes about 10 minutes to get to the top. We are dressed up and ready to go in waterproof. Buy a jacket. Yeah, I think they're just your point, so it's a bit, um, so little. <laughs> little bit big. <laughs> Go. So this tells them how high the water is, so they can decide if you can go out in the canoe. And those guys are the steerers, Hi. but we're just coasting at the moment. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't as intensive as gorging. I think we did about five miles of rowing and it's a lovely sort of afternoon spent with a group of friends or family. So definitely recommend checking that out. Donna, you mean it. I'm totally mean. Donna was gonna shut the door on me and lock it. I was gonna lock it. <laughs> Donna's put on a song that I hate. Bring me the horizon. I watched them uh, with Rob a long time ago and they were horrible. They were nasty. They were like screaming out swear words to the crowd. This is who Donna likes. We are going on a bit of a road trip because we're going to a storytelling session. We've just got back from Strolls and Stories. She was like, she was lovely. She was fabulous. She basically turned into the characters 
in those areas and told you the stories. So highly recommend for a unique way to bring to life a lot of the sites around this area. Donna is an absolute lifesaver. She just walked in the yurt <laughs> with ice cream. This is a Brooks ice cream. They left loads for us actually, loads of different flavors. And I know I have already spotted the mint chocolate one, mm. which I'll be gunning to after our uh, dinner tonight. So Mike has brought us over to the lake house, which is a brand new addition to Hidden Valley Yurts. It's literally just been uh, decorated, just finished. So we're gonna have the first look in here. So this is pretty much the kitchen that I want in my flat. Literally this. So I'm filming it and I can show Rob. He'll be like, this is what I want. <laughs> Ooh. Look at this. That's even like this rain poly type shower. It's looking very glamorous from this side of the lake. We are back from the lake house, which was very, very nice. The lodge itself was very maritime. Um, I love the wooden beams at the top and everything was just quality. Hello. Hi. What's, what's that face for? I've just hit my head so hard <laughs> on the floor. Oh no, I'm meant to be the clumsy one. <laughs> and Donna, you probably hurt yourself more than me. Oh, I've hit my head twice. You I fell? I slipped. I fell in the water. She fell and I didn't capture it on camera. Damn. Damn. <laughs> um, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. So this is how dark it is, walking back. It's pretty dark, which is why you should have a torch. Ah. Ah. I am obviously going back to my yurt with the mint chocolate ice cream. Oh. <laughs> Obs. We're back in the yurt. Uh, Donna's got the fire roaring, thank you very much. And I've already demolished my mint chocolate ice cream. It was so nice. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> the gin <laughs> has arrived. Hello, it's our last day. Oh, and I have my hood up because it is absolutely cooking it down out there. Um, it looked a little bit like this when we arrived on the Tuesday evening. And now we're going to have to spend some time packing to get home. We're going, Donna. <laughs> Perfect face. group of people as well and we're not outdoorsy people no. really like we go for walks and things in the countryside but um i wouldn't categorize myself as outdoorsy but it was brilliant and it didn't feel alien we didn't feel dirty no. um and yeah i definitely do glamping again especially there because all the facilities were top notch um and it's in a location where there's loads of different things for you to do it's just full of activity. You can do as little or as you know as much as you want. We just want to say thank you so much for inviting us on this trip. We, you know, we've had the best week. It really has been a massive adventure, and it wasn't as scary the whole glamping thing as we were expecting. Um, and we definitely do that again, 100%. Sure. Highly recommend it. Get down there, even if you don't think you're outdoorsy. Promise we'll you. It promise you you will love it yeah thanks for watching this has been quite a long vlog i appreciate that so i hope you stuck around to the end and i will see you next time <laughs>